Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to download music directly from Pandora just by using Google Chrome. First off, let's open up the Chrome browser. Next, let's do a quick search for Pandora. Alright, now that Pandora has loaded, I'm going to change the station. Just for fun, how about some Red Hot Chili Peppers? Okay, this is where it can get confusing, so watch closely. We are going to right click in the blue area and select Inspect Element. You can also press F12 on your keyboard, but since I have Firebug installed, it will only open that. Now let's make the frame on the bottom larger. From what you can see here, there are a few different tabs. We will be choosing the third one titled Network. Here you will see a whole bunch of different files showing up. Let's go ahead and clear this list. Awesome. Now this network window shows you what is being downloaded, including information about the size and type of the file. Now is a good time to mention that unless you have this window open when Pandora started, you will actually have to wait or skip to the next song to be able to download music. So let's just skip to the next song. We can organize the network list by clicking the name of the column. What I prefer to do is have the size descending and going to the very top. The large files, about 2 megabytes, will be your song. You can also identify it by the unique name it is given or even the file format. Just remember that this list will continue to grow unless you clear it. What we will do next is right click and open the file in a new tab. Be cautious because it will be very loud, so I suggest turning down your speakers before doing this step. And this is your file. Right click the page and select save as. Now choose where you would like to save the file. I'll choose my desktop. And that's it. You now have downloaded your song from Pandora. Now the format will be in .m4a. Many music players have trouble with this format, so let's take it one step further by converting the file so it is compatible across multiple platforms. So what we will do is create a new tab and go to media.io. You can use any converter, but I found this one to be the simplest. We will choose the file we want to convert. MP3 is an easy file to use and is pretty much standard everywhere. In order to maintain the file integrity, we will choose the highest quality available, then click convert. Now obviously there are other formats you can choose from, yet since there is no possible way to upconvert a compressed file, we will stick with a comparable file type. And now that's ready to download. Let's go ahead and click that button and get started. Now that's finished, let's hear the differences. Here's the original .m4a file. And here's the newly created mp3 file. And that's it. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you learned something today. Happy downloading.